50th running of the AJC Peachtree Road Race on this 4th of July. We are about 14, 15 minutes into the men's wheelchair division. As we see, we saw Daniel Romanchuk in the lead here for the men's division. Who is this in the lead right now, Dave? That's Daniel Romanchuk on the upper left in the yellow helmet. Just remember that yellow helmet. You see right now, it Susanna looks Scaroni. white. It looked white it looked, well, <laughs> with, the, with the reflection for a reflection second. I said, like, wait, the what, is, yeah. what has happened in, on, in, Dave, the, in the break out. here? Well, he does have a, a gray singlet on, so that may help. Uh, as far as the women, you saw the top three are still together. Susanna Scaroni has pulled in a little bit. She is a lightweight. And that makes her very, very strong. Now, we've talked about Roman Chuck. <clears throat> he has the opportunity to break his personal best, and then he would win $50,000, which certainly is the carrot at the end of the stick for him. Yeah. The question now, as we take a look at the splits, does he have an opportunity toward that 50 grand? I think he does. Remember, he almost broke it last year, and he's a year stronger, a year faster, a year smarter. And there is smarts in this race, and he's been out, he's been out on the course a couple of times this week, mm -hmm. just checking it out, talking to people who've won it before, saying, what should I watch for here? What, sh what should I watch for there? And so there's nobody within a quarter of a mile of Daniel right now. He wants this prize money, and I would not be surprised if he gets it. Again, I wish I had we some, had some splits on that. But when an athlete, an elite athlete, is this far ahead of everybody else, you know that he's really pushing strongly. And Daniel will attack early. Daniel is one of those athletes. He knows how strong he is. And as soon as he feels he's got a weakness in his opponent, he's going. Is there a disadvantage when you're that far out and you're trying to break a record, and you certainly are motivated, you don't really have any way to decipher if you're on target or not, right? There's no one pushing. Again, that's why I say yeah. I wish he had the splits. He's got a little tiny clock on his frame of his chair, so he may have an idea how fast he is, and he can look at that versus the splits. But he is uh, he knows his push rate. He knows exactly how hard and how fast he has to go. He's just now turning on Ten. the 10th Street. He'll be coming down the hill in just a short moment. Uh, Two minutes. Two minutes. That's what he's got left, two minutes. All right. We have certainly enjoyed watching Daniel Romanchuk over the years. His fourth peach tree, uh, the winner in 2017 and 2018, and just recently became the youngest and first American in 26 years to win the men's wheelchair division at the Boston Marathon this year. 20 years old. We are rooting for you, Daniel. Just to give you an idea of the wheelchair division here, we have about 59 racers, 47 men, 12 women. The oldest is 66 years old, and the youngest is 15 years old. Roman Chuck is just not coming, and we can see him coming over the top of the hill. It looks like he's going to crush the record. He's got more than a minute to get to the finish line. And wow. We can see him now. 1838 is the time to beat the event record set back in 2004 by Saul Mendoza. Looking at the clock at the bottom of your screen right now, about 1738 that he's been racing so far, unofficial, as we're waiting for him to come across the finish line. We're looking back here. And there's nothing like the motivation of money to make a young athlete <clears throat> turn himself up in a way <laughs> perhaps he has never done before. Here he comes. And the oh opportunity my God. for 50 meters. grand is his. He's going to break so this exciting. by more than 30 seconds. Wow. Is that not amazing? Watch him coming right there. There's your champion, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Romanchuk. Did he crush that record? Fifty thousand dollars richer is Daniel Romanchuk, unofficial right now, and it is 18:11. That's 37 seconds, 36 seconds faster than the previous course record. That's unheard of. That the unofficial nobody's time. Nobody's done that. That's unofficial. We'll have to wait for the official. But by the clock we're looking at on the TV, that's absolutely amazing. Here comes Hoog, and like we said, they were neck and neck at the 5,000 meters on the track. But this is a road race. This is a hill course. This is downhill, uphill. So Daniel did it well. And now you look right now, McFadden is ahead of the other ladies going up the hill. And she's going to have an advantage at coming down the hill because she's, she's got the extra weight. And so if she can stay ahead of them getting into the 10th corner, she might pull this off for the women. Certainly a lot of people taking notes about Roman Chuck and his performance here. Among them, the IRS with the $50,000 <laughs> that he will be collecting. <laughs> the government never sleeps, ladies and gentlemen. April is every day for the IRS when young athletes are collecting those kinds of paychecks. Okay, you now see that Scaroni and Shar have gone ahead of Tatiana. Again, it's because of their weight. Right now, they're able to pull ahead. of. It's going to be very, very close to the women. And they both got all got a finish left on the course. Right now, we have some more of the men's open racers. We've got one of the racers coming in from Mexico there. And here comes Aaron Pike behind him. Uh, Aaron, again, this is a tough race for him. Well, those hills are tough coming up. Going down, it's a great race. You're hearing the applause at the finish line here as the volunteers, family members, friends are cheering on the wheelchair division. Seeing the women at Colony Square right now as 
You know, what's also interesting about this race is we see the topography of Peachtree is how much development we have seen in Midtown, how different it looks from just a few years ago when there were, there were different kinds of landmarks that you would, you know, have a sense of, of where and how fast they were going. But now, Atlanta's a new city in many ways, and it looks different. Yeah, you have to drive the course every year ahead of time just to say, okay, here's at one kilometer, here's at two <laughs> kilometer, here's at three. Because it changes, like you say, Atlanta's one of the most dynamic cities in the country right now. Okay, you've got, Sus right now you got Susanna Scaroni in the front. I mean, this could be anybody's race. It'll be interesting to see. Now, what'll be interesting to see is who tucks and who pushes coming down the 10th Street Hill. When uh, Krieger Scobart won his first PC Road race, he passed Ma Saul Mendoza by staying tucked coming down the hill. If you sit up, you get wind hitting you in the chest. If you stay tucked, you don't. So is aerodynamics better than strength? We'll find out. I'm still marveling at Daniel Romanchuk, his fourth peach tree, and 18, 11 this year beating the event record unofficially. <laughs> I mean, it, it looked pretty, pretty official there. Did you have any idea that I, we thought it would be close, but did you think it would be such a huge well if i looked at personal records number. in the past i'd say yeah i thought it was going to be but not that much nobody thinks it's going to be that much